with over 2,400 delegates from over 192 countries. Putting together the ITU's plenipotentiary meeting is no mean feat. Now, Doreen Bogdan is here, and she's the Head of Strategic Planning and Membership for the ITU. Now, you've put together the PP10. Tell us some of the challenges that you had along the way. Well, one of the normal challenges would be the whole organization here that we see. Uh, and I must say that the, the Mexican administration, the Mexican colleagues, the Expo Center have done a brilliant job. I would say the other main challenge was to deal with all the inputs coming from our member states on such a variety of issues and trying to allocate them to the different committees and working groups to ensure that the work uh, moves ahead efficiently and effectively. So how do you do that so that you really have a limited agenda and you're, you're, it doesn't just become a cacophony of different demands? Yeah. The ICT environment has obviously changed a lot in the past four years, uh, so we need to take into account new things like ICTs and climate change, uh, child online protection, uh, there's new cybersecurity uh, issues, emergency communications, as we've seen over the past four years, have become uh, more and more important uh, when there are natural disasters. So all of these things we need to take into account to ensure that we have the right program for the next four years ahead. Now one buzzword that has had a lot of staying power in the area of ICTs is the digital divide and that's because the phenomenon still exists. Mm -hmm. Now you're involved with the Broadband Commission. Could you tell us what the Broadband Commission is proposing to do in order to solve or deal with the digital divide? Mm -hmm. there, there are many people in this world that don't have enough money to, to buy food, yet they're buying a cell phone. Mm. So there's something wrong with that equation. You know, in the financial crisis, the number of people, uh, the number of subscribers continue to increase, mobile subscribers, uh, while people were being put out of their homes, didn't have medical attention, didn't have schools, but they all had a cell phone. So there's something wrong with that. And what we need to do, and one of the goals of the Broadband Commission, is to see how we can have more content, more applications, and people that have those mobile devices can use them to improve their life, to improve the quality of their life. So the idea is to make sure that ICTs are serving the people rather than the companies that provide ICTs. Well, absolutely, and I would say the main goal of the commission is to get world leaders, uh, corporate leaders, to recognize the importance of ICTs, broadband, and how technology can really transform people's lives. And in the commission, we came up with a campaign about Be More. And we have these nice little buttons with a B on it to explain to people in a very simple way that with broadband, with technology, we can all be more. 